my roots of optimism are in my story. One for sure thing about life is that it is unpredictable. Perhaps this simple statement is one of the most beautiful qualities about it. However, not all of us are born into the most favorable of circumstances. My story began as a young black boy born to a single teenage mother. And although I didn't know it at the time, society already had plans for my destiny, which included things like negative stereotypes, dropping out, and becoming a teenage father. My mother had every reason to give in to adversity, but she continued to push through. She refused to allow for me to become another statistic and gave me the tools to keep from doing so. My mother was only 17 when she had me. She was just a senior in high school, and my father had chosen to leave. So she was on her own, a kid raising a kid. She was scared, but committed to loving me. As I began to grow older, I would become the big brother of two siblings. Later, my family would prepare for the arrival of three sets of twins. But each of those pregnancies would end in heartbreak and leave my mother mentally unable to provide care for herself, my siblings, or me. I was taken out of my childhood home, separated from my siblings, and ripped away from my mother. My biological father was notified and still did not come. And as a result, I was a second grader, forced to sit in the back of a police car by myself and wipe away my own tears of heartbreak. My mother wasn't done with life quite just yet, though. She sought help. And after a very long year, we were returned home. During the rebuilding process, she enrolled me in various leadership programs and basketball within the community, which have provided key father figures in my life. The next thing she did was enroll in college. She worked two jobs, took care of our family, and went to school. The day that she graduated with her associate's degree was the day that I realized with a little optimism, anything is possible. And in the midst of my life began to make a turn for the better, the absence of my biological father began to matter less because I was now my own person who would not let someone dictate my life when they decided not to be in it. Eventually with her new degree, my mother was able to get a better job. She was then able to write letters to Section 8 and DCF to let them know that we wanted to be removed from their programs. But most importantly, my family could finally stand on our own two feet. And while my roots of optimism are in my story, they also come from my mother. She is strong, caring, and inspiring. But most of all, she is optimistic. Life has been very unpredictable for me. There were times when I thought to myself, well, this is it. And I was proven wrong every time. Whatever life throws at me, I will catch it. I am a varsity boys basketball player, have already graduated high school, have been accepted into multiple colleges of my choice, and will become a successful mechanical engineer. No matter what, I will always have a smile on my face. I have already dispelled many of the stereotypes placed upon me at birth, as well as break my family's chain of teenage pregnancy. I will continue to work hard, never give up, be respectful, and with the powers of kindness, optimism, and a strong belief in God, I know all things are possible. I have decided to own my past so no one can use it to ruin my future. This trait of being optimistic is a reflection of our minds, our bodies, and our souls. We should laugh more, love more, and show more kindness. In return, we will receive every gift that this life has to offer us. And in a world full of pessimistic people, I choose to be an optimist. Thank you.